You should be wearing SPF. I'm looking at you. Here's the fun part. It just makes me feel bad and bougie sometimes. Hey, my name is Kaylee Bryant and I am currently on set with Seventeen for Beauty School. I do plums for beauty no matter what. Wow. Yes, donut glaze. Come for you. <laughs> So I am going to be taking you guys through my current skincare routine of how I go from Josie Saltzman to Kaylee Bryant. So first step in my sort of cleansing routine is a cleansing balm. I use the Clean It to Zero Cleansing Balm. Whoa. Um, this is a really important step if you wear makeup and even if you don't wear makeup, you should be wearing SPF. I'm looking at you. Um, and it's really important to do a sort of oil-based cleanse before a foaming cleanse so that you can get that gunk off and then cleanse your face. Do you see what I'm saying? I don't really know what I'm saying sometimes, but it makes sense to me, so hopefully it makes sense to you. Yeah, I just take a good old scoop of kind of what looks like, almost like a coconut oil, but it, it's, it's not coconut oil, it's cleansing balm. And then I just start massaging it into my face and start removing everything that is on my face. And I usually have to go in like a couple times with a few scoops because obviously I'm wearing a lot of makeup and I'm about to look like a panda. Um, and that just means I'm doing it right. So take all the screenshots you want. Good at those crevices. Oh, and here's the fun part. Now that I have oil on here, they should come off easier. No, Ooh. I'm so afraid of taking off my eyelashes and them sticking to my normal eyelashes. Anybody else have a fear? <laughs> it never feels right to be putting oil on your face the way that you are. Satisfaction. Oh. Having a skin cleansing routine can be sexy. Yes. Okay. Now that I have done an oil cleanser to get all the makeup off my face, it kind of looks like, oh, like pancake. No. Absolutely not. Now we're going in with the foaming cleanser. <laughs> so I use the Hatarabo Gokujun um, Hydrating Face Wash. This is a Japanese brand face wash. Um, I really love it. It has a pH level of 5.5, I believe. Basically, it's not super stripping, which a lot of foaming cleansers can be. And my favorite thing. A lot of people think that this is something to like um, exfoliate. It's not. It is actually a foaming net. So you just put a little bit of product on. You start rubbing it. Soon you'll have an amazing fluffy marshmallow of face soap. This is one of those steps that is definitely completely not necessary in my routine. Not at all. But I love it. So I do it. See that? Wow, so much foam. Then I just... Massage right in. Don't forget the milk. <laughs> I do clumps for a decent amount of time. So now that my skin is fully cleansed, I go in with my other favorite step other than putting marshmallow foam on my face, which is my essence. Um, I just love essences. Don't really know the science behind what they do, but they just make your skin feel so nice. I use the Pyongkang Yu Essence Toner, which is a Korean brand. Um, so I don't know if I said that right. Um, and you're fully allowed to come for me if I did say it wrong. <laughs> so I just pat this into my face. Some people use a cotton round, but um, I try not to create as much waste from single use materials. I just pat it in. I have extremely acne prone skin. So I see a dermatologist and I highly recommend seeing a dermatologist if you have access to one. It changed my skin. I was actually prescribed Adapalene and Benzoyl Peroxide Gel to help combat my acne and it is such a lifesaver. So I just apply that into my problem areas, which is my forehead, um, around my nose and then my chin. As much as I love this stuff because it makes it so that I don't have any acne, it also makes my skin so dry. Every step I do is literally just to put moisture back into my face. My skin is so acne prone. When I find something that works, I stick to it. So I am going in with the Hatarabo Gokujun Hydrating Lotion. And I just really love this stuff. It's hyaluronic acid based, which is really helpful since I live in a very humid environment. 
basically my goal in my skincare routine is to go to bed looking like a glazed donut and we're almost there you know what i mean next i am going to go in <laughs> same line of products <laughs> we're going in with the uh, hatarabo kitchen hyaluronic i think it's a cream cream it's cream i go in with their hyaluronic acid serum and it's more of a gel really so i use this as like my final hydration step my steps are hydration steps other than my acne wow yes donut glaze come through <laughs> there's seven steps <laughs> and that's when i'm just being quick about it <laughs> before i put on my cream every now and then i'll do a face mask it's always fun um but not necessary i don't think it just makes me feel bad and bougie sometimes, you know? Last but not least, I go in with Crave's Skin Barrier Relief. I love this stuff because it's just a really great moisture barrier to keep in all of the hydration that I've been putting in my face. And it doesn't freak me out, which is just always a key component into my skincare routine. And now we have achieved full glazed donut level. Okay, that is my full skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe you learned something. <laughs> and tune into Legacies Thursdays on the CW or for free on the CW app. And subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos like this. All right, bye guys.